Checking. One, two, three. Today we are checking Limbus Company. You managed to get a different what head, you like different head as in head of the operation or like actual uh, head head. Like, you mean this head? Choo choo, mother effer. Oh, the Send price they'll pay for taking the wrong road will be heavier than they expect. <laughs> Oh, here comes the Hiron Fist. He's French. Wait, this is it? <laughs> she section five is 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 Ismael. Does that mean she's gonna start at twenty five percent health? <laughs> It's a bit bad to use it on Gregor, though. It's not... I mean, I like his design, but... Not exactly a character that I'm, like, super hyped about. Another one for her. LCCB Assistant Manager. Oh! W Corp Faust! No! Ah! Uh. Seven section six. 안녕하세요. 제 흥을 돋구게 될 곳이 여기라고 들었어요. The fuck is this? Chef de los Mariakis. Oh my god, why? 꽃이 필요하신 거라면 피워드립니다. Leo sec. Oh, Leo section. 흐름을 따라 이곳에 왔으니. The lady in itch, so more blood. Lobotomy Corp. <laughs> Lobotomy Corp Faust! Oh, that's amazing. Who chose to bring me here? No! That's that's my least interested character. One more time. Gold. We got another one. It's fresh in your see. What is this? Ooh, this looks nice. Wishing. Care Kin? Holy join but Leo so section. Oh, it's an ego. Oh. Look at your head. Permission to room. room. <laughs> Inadvisable to lose your calm, I imagine. What? The fuck? Trenches. To write against noisy crying hogs and tail scragging. Rio, you piece of shit. Hefcliff has been the, the 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 most annoying so far. Rio is just a piece of shit. Excuse me, are you people from Limbus Company? Run! Are you turning into fuel? Previous Elcorp. Excuse me? You're from Elcorp? A lot of the characters are not showing up at all. Which is a pr is the problem you have when you're trying to write a story with 12 characters as a main cast. You can't give screen time to all of them. Now, you know what? You're lucky if a hole is punched for in your gut. You'd be goner in seconds. No, you wouldn't. Your gut the gut is the worst place to suffer injuries. You want it in a vital area, like uh, your head or... Uh, your chest, not the gut. Why the gut? The gut is like the worst place. Humans can survive so long without a gut. Like you, like there are stories of soldiers 
who lost literally half their bodies and were alive for like half an hour in battles. Like, the, the torso is where you're gonna get hit, or the head. Huh? Wait. Oh, it was foreshadowing. Okay. So yeah, Gregor is, Gregor is best guy. He's my favorite so far. Son of Morality looks upset. It seems to want something, but what should we give? Uh, a good beating. The problem with stories that just use death all the time, they're just, like, killing characters left and right, is that whenever a new character shows up, my f the, f the reaction I have is, oh, here's a new dead person. What are their hands in the sky? Also, those are some nice nails. Very uh, fabulous nails. I don't want to die. Because they're bugs. They're being squashed like bugs. Oh. Holy shit. This is just an apple. <laughs> what the frick am I looking at? It's a golden apple. L literally a golden apple. Of course it wouldn't be this easy. There we go. I managed to escape, but it seems Yuri couldn't. Ruth's flesh melted to form a new body. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did Yuri just die? Yeah, like, uh, I kind of expected this. Uh, she to be honest, it's more of this is more a disappointment than uh, than anything else. Then I saw a glimpse of the pink locks of hair that Rodia took a liking to. Tell me then, Dante, why would you we bother sending 12 whole combatants to a place with no threats? So you're admitting you did withhold your information. Like a piece of shit. What is this? What the fuck? What? Huh? Well, there you have it. This is the, the... We have reached the end of the game. There is no more game. This is Limbo's company. We have reached the ending. I'm sure... Why are there credit rolls? Where is their names? Like, how, how is their names not... I... Hmm... <laughs> I feel like not having their names would be something very basic to have. I think it would be very... I don't... Mm. I am enjoying the story. I'm a bit annoyed with, with the girl that died. It's not so much that I didn't expect it to die, that she died. It's that I simply knew she was gonna die. And I'm just disappointed that they were that predictable. Once you start just killing all your characters, the cliche of killing them stops being useful. But anyway, that's enough. Uh, this, other, other than that little detail, I am enjoying the story. So, uh... The next day... Today we're just gonna play again. Yesterday we finished chapter one. I don't know if I'll be able to finish chapter two today, though. Back to rolling. Let's go, Gregor. Nigo. Who's this? She... Hefcliff. Oh, it's Hefcliff. No one cares about that. Oh, what is this? Zway Section 6, Sinclair. Sinclair. Zwayed. Oh, it's time for Vroom Vroom. <laughs> I still don't know how to say that word. Bud. Boof. Maybe it's called him Bud. Actually, let me see. Google Translator. Help... Bow. 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 Golden bow. 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 
Golden Bow. Huh. Yet you somehow snatched defeat from the wide open maws of success. Well, maybe if you had been competent, we wouldn't have lost. Now would we? Salary with salaried workers, not heroes fighting for justice. Oh no. Oh no. You did not just say that. Donkey shot, please don't. <laughs> Anyway, out of 10, how many points will Limbo's have for now? Um, as of now, as a game, as a gacha game, I'd say I'd recommend it. I'd say it's very good. It has probably one of the most satisfying gameplay out of a gacha I've seen. I've ever played, and I've played a lot of gachas. Especially the dungeons. I like the dungeon. I, I really enjoyed the dungeon, at least. Story. Story is going to be a, a problem because it's a niche type of story. Not many people are going to like it. Uh, that's just the, the, that's just the nature of these type of stories. Um, but if you can, uh, you know, if you are not bothered by uh, blood and gore, the story is good. If you like, if you're not bothered by uh, blood and gore, then you'll probably enjoy the game. If you are bothered by it, then you probably don't want to play the game. It's one of those situations. This is not a casual game. Let's be, put it that way. It's not a casual. It's not a casual gotcha. But casual people will avoid this like the plague because the story is way too gruesome for for the casual uh, person. But you know, I would recommend it. I would overall recommend. I'd say rock uh, overall. A eight out of ten. Vroom vroom. Oi, spare. Oh no. Oh, the... Holding up to <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> oh my god, he's got... <laughs> and people say the story is boring. There are parts of it that are boring. I will say that. I'd say overall the story is not boring, but I will say that sometimes it is. Chapter 1 is boring. I actually disagree. I like Chapter 1 more than so the second one so far. I find the second one right now is very basic. But it does have... This This is a funny moment. Like, this is a good moment, for example. Um, but obviously, I'm still nowhere near completion. I, my problem with Chapter 1 is that it was just predictable. I mean, I literally play... I finished Libraria, like, yesterday... And I played chapter one, and I was just like, wow, this feels like library. Like, people are just dying. <laughs> so I was just like, it's very predictable. It's not boring, it's well written, but it was predictable what was going to happen. After you give it a good, uh, and it, uh, and it up, go uh, on it. <laughs> yes. Next up, you, uh, the, uh, and then soak it in, uh. <laughs> <laughs> or hold hang on are you okay cane free ego gifts but mm. Mm. but what give me all of them I'll take HP okay we just took some damage that's fine I'll be fine no. Incorrect input. You must become strong. Please input your answer again. One, impressing the button three times will cause the facility to shut down. Do you love the city you live in? Would you press? No. Incorrect input. You must become strong. Please input your answer again. One, impressing the button three times will cause the facility to shut down. You love the city you live in. You want you to press. No! Shut down! It's kind of annoying that I have to do this every time. Can I just, like, perma-select it so I don't have to select it every single time? It should, like, remember what you selected. And then if you want to change, you change it. Otherwise, you just click go. Oh, is this a credits? Again? Is it just going to be credits every chapter? I think the game is ultimately a, a good game. It has uh, the game style is good, it's satisfying and all that. 
I do see some problems and some question marks. It is a good game. I would recommend it. The story is fine. The second chapter was a bit weird to me. I feel like it was a downgrade to the first one, although there were moments that were very good on it. It still, like, was a good... Uh, this chapter two was still good, but it's just... Compared to the first one that had so much story, this one was definitely uh, much smaller. And, I mean, look, it, it, I'm not saying the story is bad. The story is fine. It's, uh, you know... It's... It is what it is. It's not mind-blowing, but it's not bad. It's a solid story. It's fine. It's an introduction. And... It does have good... Let's say... It has good foreshadowing. Let's put it that way. I can look at the story and be like, okay, the story is promising a lot da uh, later down the line, right? Because you can tell that it's not just a... Because you can tell the story is going to explore every character. So there's a f so as the story progresses, you're going to get in more detailed and probably a lot more stuff. As well as more factions and all of that. I don't like the automated fighting that happens outside of abnormalities. I wish that the combat system of, of the abnormalities was just the uh, the uh, the default for all of them. However, I'm not too sure the gotcha is strong enough. Okay, you spent a million on this banner. What about the next one? And the next one? And the next one? If they don't spend a million again, then it's meaningless. There are plenty of examples of gacha games that had really strong starts and then they flop because people just leave the game or they don't spend enough money on the game the first month i'll be very honest the first month is something that for the most part in a gacha you should always ignore uh, to see whether or not it's going to succeed because wait until the second banner and see exactly that that is my point um i think that it's not just the second banner it's also the first event gacha survive on a lot more on events than they do on stories. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do events. Uh, we'll see how they do. Hopefully it's good. If it's good, that has a high chance it survives. Um, but hopefully they do justice and it's not just what I've seen of a lot of new gotchas where they just, you know, they just throw a new banner and they uh, a new battle pass and they call it a day. Um, and hopefully it's like a full-fledged event with story and more characterization and all that because you kind of need that to uh, make it worth. Otherwise, it just t starts dying. Livelihood of a gacha is never on the beginning of, of a gacha. A very good example of that most recently is actually Tower of Fantasy, which is a gacha-ish game that tried to copy Genshin Impact. Had an amazing start. Um, everyone was streaming it. A lot of top tier streamers were streaming it on Twitch. And then uh, next month, it was basically already a dead game. I do like that they do how they are embracing the uh, the funny aspect of skins. One issue that I was actually concerned with uh, the game when I was playing library was that maybe they would go too hard and just go for uh, lore friendly, uh, you know, uh, type of skins where you have like. Leo and whatnot, but it's nice that they are embracing the goofiness, you know, like with maracas and uh, and uh, the, this kind of uh, Hawa, like this kind of uh, dress skins. It's good. Exactly, it's a good balance of fun and edgy. You need that when you, especially with skins, you can't just have edginess because it just gets boring. You need to have a good mixture, and that's good that they. They are I already accepted that right off the start. Max has <laughs> <I'm> skin. <laughs> it's good that they at least like embrace that right off the start because as a, if you're if you're only gotcha if like if your focus of your gotcha is only skins, you need to realize that you're gonna have to go for goofiness too. So I have high hopes. I hope the game succeeds. Anyway, so thank you all for being here. Till next time. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. No, not four yet. Four, five. Uh.